You know, uh, at, at my undergrads, there were only 17 African Americans in my entering class. So far short of 10%, probably like 2 to 3%. Of that 17, 12 of us or more than half were interested in pre-med. And Dr. Watkins was the one name we could relate to and believe that provided a role model for us to actually go to medical school. When I applied to medical school, um, Levi took a stance, I think, in many ways, um, um, because he made the effort to say that we're going to reach out to be diverse before diversity was popular. Diversity is popular now. When Levi did this in 1982, it was not popular. However, he felt it was absolutely necessary to change the landscape of the medical environment at Johns Hopkins. So he convinced the Dean of Admissions at Johns Hopkins that we need to admit African-American students. My interview for med school uh, was a bit shaky. I thought the interview went okay, but Levi said it didn't go great. And he said, you know, I had to make it very clear to them that you were gonna be a good student if you got admitted. It certainly motivated me to never, never bring any grounds to disappoint his efforts and, and looking out for me. His impact in my life has been nothing short of uh, transformative because of his commitment um, to excellence, diversity, and actually fighting for those who can't often fight for themselves. More than ever, I, I, I thank him for being a leader that I in many ways can model my life after as I have grown and been fortunate and blessed to serve in a position of both a you know, division director, a department chair, and now a dean of a medical school. Levi, thank you for all you've done, not only in, uh, in fostering uh, my career personally, but also what you've done for so many in medicine. Thank you so much.